Welcome back to our channel, Wild Biosphere. Today, we're embarking on an in-depth exploration of the intricate predator-prey dynamics in the unique ecosystems of Madagascar. Our focus will be on two captivating inhabitants of this island, the elusive fossa and the enchanting lemur. In this comprehensive video, we'll delve deep into their coexistence, hunting strategies, adaptations, and the critical role they play in shaping Madagascar's extraordinary biodiversity. But first, if you're as fascinated by the natural world as we are, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our wildlife adventures. To truly understand the predator-prey dynamics of Madagascar, we must first appreciate the island itself. Madagascar, often referred to as the Eighth Continent, is a living testament to the power of isolation. Separated from other land masses for over 80 million years, this island boasts a staggering array of endemic species found nowhere else on Earth. Its ecological uniqueness sets the stage for the complex relationships between the fossa and lemur. Our journey begins with the enigmatic fossa, an apex predator that bears a striking resemblance to a cross between a feline and a mongoose. With a sinuous body, retractable claws, and keen senses, the fossa is the largest carnivore in Madagascar. Its diet primarily consists of lemurs, birds, and smaller mammals, making it a top-tier predator within the island's ecosystem. The fossa, Cryptoprocta ferox, is a unique and elusive carnivorous mammal endemic to Madagascar. Resembling a blend of a cat and a mongoose, it is the largest predator on the island. The fossa plays a crucial role in Madagascar's ecosystem as a top carnivore. Its role extends beyond merely controlling prey populations. It influences the behavior and distribution of various species, particularly lemurs, which make up a significant portion of its diet. As a carnivore, the fossa helps maintain the health and balance of the ecosystem by controlling the populations of its prey, preventing overgrazing or overpopulation of certain species. By doing so, it indirectly contributes to the preservation of vegetation and habitats. On the flip side of this ecological coin, we have the lemur, a group of primates as diverse as the island itself. Madagascar is home to over 100 species and subspecies of lemurs, each with its unique adaptations and lifestyles. Lemurs are a diverse group of primates that are only found in Madagascar. From the acrobatic sifakas to the endearing ring-tailed lemurs, these creatures have evolved to fill various niches in this isolated environment. Lemurs are essential to Madagascar's biodiversity for several reasons, such as Endemism Lemurs are a prime example of Madagascar's high level of endemism, meaning they are found nowhere else on Earth. Protecting lemurs also protects the unique habitats they inhabit. Also, many lemur species play a critical role in seed dispersal. They consume fruits and then distribute seeds through their feces, helping with forest regeneration and maintaining plant diversity. Now, let's look at the coexistence and competition between these two creatures. The heart of the matter lies in the shared territory between the fossa and the lemur. Both creatures rely on the lush rainforests and forested areas of Madagascar for sustenance and shelter. This shared habitat leads to fierce competition for resources, setting the stage for an intricate dance of predator and prey. The Fossa's Hunting Techniques The fossa is a versatile and agile hunter, equally adept in the trees as it is on the forest floor. Its long tail provides balance as it maneuvers through the canopy, while its sharp claws and powerful jaws allow it to capture prey with precision. Despite its solitary hunting habits, the fossa is a patient stalker, often waiting for hours to seize the perfect moment to strike. Fossas employ a combination of agility, stealth, and patience in their hunt for lemurs. They are skilled climbers and can navigate the forest canopy with ease. When hunting lemurs, fossas often approach silently, waiting for the right moment to strike. Their sharp claws and strong jaws allow them to capture prey quickly and efficiently. Lemur Adaptations In response to the constant threat of predation, lemurs have developed a wide array of adaptations. Alarm calls 
many lemur species have developed alarm calls that alert the group to the presence of a fossa or other predators, allowing them to escape to safety. Arboreal lifestyle. Most lemurs are adapted to arboreal, tree-dwelling, lifestyles, which provide them with escape routes in the treetops, where fossas find it challenging to follow. Group living. Living in social groups provides lemurs with safety in numbers. Sentinels within the group keep watch for predators, and the group can collectively defend against fossa attacks. Camouflage and Crypsis Some lemur species have evolved cryptic coloration and behaviors to blend into their surroundings, making it harder for fossas to spot them. Predation Incidents While the fossa is a formidable predator, its success rate varies. Lemurs have honed their escape tactics using their agility and group cooperation to evade capture. We've captured extraordinary footage of these high-stakes encounters in the wild, showcasing the lemur's remarkable ability to outmaneuver their predator. Surprisingly, not all interactions between fossas and lemurs are adversarial. Some lemurs have developed unique partnerships with their would be predators. These mutually beneficial relationships, while rare, are a testament to the intricacies of Madagascar's ecosystems, where cooperation can sometimes outweigh competition. With human activities threatening the habitats of both fossas and lemurs, conservation efforts have become paramount. We'll delve into the tireless work of conservationists and organizations dedicated to preserving the delicate balance of Madagascar's ecosystems, ensuring the survival of these unique species. In the heart of Madagascar, scientists and researchers are continually uncovering new insights into the predator-prey dynamics between the fossa and lemur. Through groundbreaking research techniques, including camera traps, genetic studies, and behavioral observations, we're gaining a deeper understanding of this intricate relationship. In conclusion, the predator, prey dynamics between the fossa and lemurs in Madagascar are a captivating example of nature's complexity. These interactions have sculpted the island's remarkable biodiversity over millions of years and continue to intrigue scientists and nature enthusiasts worldwide. As we conclude this journey, we encourage you to support conservation efforts aimed at preserving the delicate balance of this extraordinary island. Thank you for joining us here on Wild Biosphere on this remarkable expedition through the heart of Madagascar. If you found this documentary as fascinating as we did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with fellow nature enthusiasts. And remember to subscribe to Wild Biosphere for more in-depth explorations of our planet's incredible wildlife. Until next time, keep exploring and celebrating the wonders of the natural world.